Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to deploy a virtual appliance called the vCloud connector. So let's see if we are able to download the vCloud connector. It's real hard to find the URL. What I eventually did is went to VMware's website and then go to all downloads and search for the vCloud connector. It's not listed in the uh, in on the main page uh, then you will find uh, the appliance so i already downloaded the appliance to my vcenter server and this is a terminal server connection to my vcenter server and i'm going to deploy the ovf template so file deploy ovf template uh, i copied it to my e drive and also unzipped the ovf file and it goes real fast you have to choose if you want to deploy it thick or thin and you have to point out the location the blue folder section oh there is already a virtual machine it was my test virtual machine so vcloud connector one my cluster which resource pool and i'm going to put it on local storage tin provision format it's only 1.2 gigabytes you have to connect it to the right network it must be able to talk to your vcenter server and we click finish and there it goes so it will take about a minute before the vcloud connector virtual appliance is fully deployed and when it's deployed it e enables you to to transfer virtual machines from your local vSphere environment to for instance uh, a public cloud running the vcloud director but it can also copy virtual machines between virtual center servers so even if you are not using the vcloud director uh, it might be a handy tool to provision virtual machines from one virtual center environment to uh, another so the virtual machine is fully deployed and uh, we have to take some additional steps to register the vcenter server in the vcloud connector virtual machine and then we do some basic stuff within the user interface of the vcloud connector so when i'm looking at the newly deployed virtual machine the vcloud connector where is it there's one right here and i'm powering it on i can take over the console of this virtual machine i'm using the vm client it's a real cool utility which enables you to only view a console or power on and power off virtual machines and you don't have to hassle with uh, a real big user interface so where is it it's right here the vcloud connector and it's already booting it generating SSL certificates you have to put in a password and this is the password for the root account and the admin account oh. now it's initializing the Postgres database It goes, it goes real smooth, it's, it's real fast, so if you want to try it out, it, it doesn't take uh, several hours before it's up and running. There's even some spring source software in here. So we are ready to go. The only thing you have to do now is record this URL uh, because you need it to do the final configuration tasks. Uh, and you also have to register uh, your vCenter server. So let's try it. HTTPS 192.168.172.168.1.0. Three slash V 
CCP. So let's continue. And then you have the vCloud connection registration. Uh, I'm using the password I already entered during the initial setup. And you have to provide your vCenter server IP or fully qualified domain name. I'm going for the safe IP. The vCenter username, in my case it's administrator. The vCenter password is VMware. And I'm going to register my vCenter server. And the registration went successfully. So this means that when I'm going to my uh, vSphere client, it will, uh, and I'm going to home, uh, after rebooting my, f after restarting my vCenter uh, vSphere client, it will show up uh, the plugin. So I'm going to restart my vSphere client. One moment, please. So I've enabled the vCloud connector plugin in my vSphere client. It's right here. And it's seamlessly integrated into your vSphere client. So uh, after clicking the plugin, uh, you have the capability of adding workload catalogs or adding a cloud. And um, when you are adding a cloud, you can choose between two options, a VMware vSphere cloud or a VMware vCloud director cloud. So in my case, I'm going to add a VMware vSphere cloud, which is in fact a normal vCenter server. So if you have multiple instances of virtual center running, you can add your, uh, add your virtual center servers right here. And then it will show up in your inventory and uh, you will see your cluster, you will see your folders. And you can also select an object and then you will see all your virtual machines. So there are some basic tasks you can perform right here, like uh, powering on and powering off uh, virtual machines, reset it. And once the virtual machine is powered off, then you have the option to copy it to another location. So it could be another target or another cloud. So, have fun with it. This is Eric Sloof signing off with another great video on ntpro.nl. Bye bye.